All right, Halo Master Chief Collection just released yesterday. We got Halo Reach. I actually have never played Halo Reach, so I'm excited to get through the single player, but I wanted to go over some Steam Controller stuff. And this is actually the first time I've done this. I couldn't decide on a controller profile, so I actually made two and uploaded both. And I want to go over the reasoning behind that especially because there's a bunch of new people coming to Steam Controller and just sort of explain the reasons for that. So this is all mouse and keyboard bindings. And now the benefit of that is that I get a very smooth mouse. Now normally, in ideally, like you would want to go gamepad bindings with this right pad as a mouse and gyro as mouse, but this game does not accept mixed input, which means you can't use mouse and keyboard plus gamepad bindings at the same time. It'll lock you out. Like, if we go in here, so if I switch this to joystick move, so then it's outputting X input controller, so now it's a combo of mixed inputs. You know, I get the real nice analog movement, but I can't see it's locking out. It gets, it flickers between the two. You can't do both. So let's go back. Okay, so now we're back to all mouse keyboard. Now another peculiar thing, just a little minor frustration is there doesn't seem to be a push to talk. So like you can see the little icon over on the right hand side there. That is V, and you don't seem to be able to do that if, if it's all controller. That I'm kind of amused that they seem to have overlooked that. So, but that was the main thing that I was fighting between not getting that mixed input. So I was going to go all gamepad. So let's switch over... So, all right, this is all gamepad. So I am now outputting in full X input. It's all Xbox controls. And it feels pretty good. Now, what I had to do for this was... was just in the settings here. I just had to crank up the stick sensitivities. And I went with... So I went with the universal zoom and shoot... And once I did that, it, it feels very good. It feels responsive. And also one benefit is that you are going to get the uh, the aim assist with a controller. And like with the analog movement, I can slowly move while my active camo is on. Which is a little bit of a frustration. <laughs> like, I'm just going to push W on my keyboard you can't stay hidden. There is no walk button for the keyboard. So if you're using mouse and keyboard, you have to crouch and then push forward. So now I'm going to push W on my keyboard. You know, so at least while I'm crouched, I can stay hidden. So that's just another little little minor frustration. But I kind of got a little off track there. But yeah, with the uh, the aim assist, I mean that makes it feel pretty good. I don't personally feel like I need aim assist in games. Like, I was always pretty good with sticks, but, I mean, Halo is kind of known for, you know, it's, uh, the aim assist on the controllers, and there's actually a lot of threads of people complaining that they're using mouse and feeling like the controller users are using aimbot. But anyways, that's a whole separate debate. Really, all I'm just trying to get through is there are different control schemes and different caveats and frustrations between choosing the both. Like, for instance, I would lean more to this mouse-like joystick, which is all gamepad, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The reason for that, and this is a big one, is that game has cross-platform support. 
So when you were using all gamepad like I am here, you're getting matched up with people playing on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. That doesn't apply to Halo. We're just playing PC people, so it doesn't really matter. But this is what I want to show you. The one weird thing is I don't understand how slow the controls are in the Warthog. Look how much I'm having to flick. And I can use the gyro too, but still, it just it feels really sluggish. And then when I get out, you know, my sensitivity is much more quick and snappy. So I don't know what's going on. That really, that was like the main thing that was really frustrating me, was that vehicles were feeling harder to drive. Now, I could end up making a separate driving set. I don't really want to get into that, though, because then I'm going to have to keep remembering to push push a special button just to go into a driving set and then back out of it. Like, that would let me, you know, if I added, like, an action layer and then I could change the sensitivities of these. Like, let's switch back to... My mouse and keyboard set. Sorry, just to give you an example, I'm gonna hop in here. Now, see how much more. It's way easier to drive. But I just wanted to go over some of the challenges you're going to start getting into as you're making Steam Controller profiles. And then, like, for this one, because it's all mouse and keyboard, it can be a little tedious when you're going into menus, so I made, made this whole other action set here. Which has, you know, unique bindings, like the up arrows, scroll bar, and then if I hit select for manage action set. So this is a uh, switch to this anytime you see the mouse cursor. When the mouse cursor isn't shown, go back to the default one. Which is really nice. So like right now, this is WASD. Now it's the arrow keys. And A button is enter instead of jump. Stick left and right. Is Q and E, you know, it's just so you can start tweaking things around like that, too. So I think, I mean, that's pretty much all I got. This isn't so much of a tutorial. This isn't really so much of a profile overview. I just kind of wanted to get in a little bit about the debate between mouse-like joystick, mouse joystick, and pure mouse. And the constant frustration when games don't really consider that we're using mixed inputs. Like, if it, if it just let me use the mouse with joystick move, it would be perfect. I wouldn't have to make any compromises at all. Best of both worlds. It'd be divine. But it's a console port, and they weren't really thinking of that, so we gotta go all one or the other. But I think this mouse keyboard one's feeling pretty good. But also, to just to make the case for the uh, the mouse joystick setting, you know, I would I would recommend checking out the uh, the Modern Warfare video that I did because it does feel really good in that, and it feels good in this one. Just I don't want to deal with those extra little frustrations, especially in the vehicles. Yeah, this really is the first time that I've created two unique profiles and uploaded them and they're also like it's not one to one some of the controls are a little different in my mouse and keyboard one I kind of like to have I'm a battlefield player so I kind of like to have grenade over on the left side but the default gamepad has it over 
for the universal zoom and shoot it had it over on the uh right bumper and you could easily swap those around but i was trying to keep it to the default controls but both of them have you know mouse clicks on the edges dual stage triggers you know all the usual bells and whistles looking forward to diving into it all right that's all i got i will see you around